I made a video some time ago about the Filmic Pro app and there were some significant updates in the last weeks and month and I just wanted to give you a short uh, introduction on those. There is a new full frame autofocus mode and full frame auto exposure mode. Uh, this was added basically on top of the spot autofocus and spot auto exposure mode and this is quite significant because when you want to vlog for example or you want to just rely on a very uh, full frame automatically uh, exposed and automatically focused image then this is what you want to use. Uh, second one they introduced also uh, on Android at least a new mode for microphones, external microphones and they bumped up the quality of those and that's just to mention here uh, and mostly this is about the full frame autofocus mode. The last but not least they improved some interactions with the DJI Osmo Mobile, not my case here because I don't use it with an Osmo Mobile but uh, yeah that's basically it. They also did some improvements on the performance at least on android it's noticeable and that's it basically they had also a new layout for widescreen devices so that's also new so let's just dive in i will just explain this in a minute uh, on example this is the single point autofocus and the single point auto exposure mode and here you have the focus and here you have the exposure when you move those you see it's changing the exposure and the focus according to the settings or to the points where they are set what you want to achieve now with the new full frame autofocus and auto exposure that is that you can very easy uh, just double tap and you see it's changing to a bigger uh, yeah, rectangle and here the same you can also double tap here and it's changing to a smaller rectangle but even bigger than before and then you can just point it where you want to and you see exposure is set corresponding to the image content or to the frames content and that's quite cool because as you see here focus is shifting as it should and the same applies to the auto exposure so instantly changing and even very soft focus pulls and auto exposure pulls should be possible and you can also by a single tap lock for example the exposure and then just go here and get it focused automatically and that's it basically that's the new functionality uh, of course sometimes it's better to set it manually and you can also go back to the single point by just double tapping it once again and then you see it's going back to the former position for me it was quite versatile to just use uh, the uh, autofocus for full frame the full frame autofocus and instead uh, set the exposure for example manually and then lock it in place so that you have something like this and then you can see here it's changing according to the screen's content I also do a test shortly to just see if it's also working for some sort of near distance to long distance so just seeing here Auto exposure, auto focus. Yep, set right. And so on and so forth. And just to uh, show you the 
built-in microphone functionalities which are enhanced now it's showing now external microphone and internal microphone or camera microphone rather than uh, camcorder or front left back right something like that so this changed as well and yeah that's quite versatile and also the app is not that buggy anymore and there are less uh, less abrupt quits of the app and just it's running smooth and not abruptly closing you see again full frame full frame and it's adapting quite well yeah. let's see slow pull not that bad i think okay i think the benefits of having now an autofocus which is uh, completely analyzing the whole frame and also analyzing uh, for exposure the whole frame is more a thing targeting towards uh, dslr users the app is more or less analyzing how the whole image is lit for example and how to uh, set the exposure right and I think in conjunction with the autofocus, which is also full frame, you can really rely a lot on the app itself and not have to do everything manually how it was before. I think it's very beneficial when you want to um, use the rear camera. So just want to hold it this way, for example, and don't want to care about uh, focusing and have to set up everything with a dummy or somebody else to just uh, keep everything in focus. I have to test it a bit more in the future and I will test it because uh, when I'm shooting with my mobile phone or my uh, tablet on my new studio setup then I can hopefully rely a lot more on the autofocusing and we'll see if this is really that on point. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you don't like it and maybe a subscribe and then let's see you in the next video. Peace! Oh, 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 oh,